Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm testing out background, so this is why you are seeing this. Let me know what you think about backdrops versus my normal setup. I just really wanted to switch it up, and lately I have just been feeling like I need to do better videos, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I'm so like passionate about my videos, but lately I've been feeling so shitty <laughs> about my videos. Um, and I know that I can't be like that, I can't stay like that, but I've been in this place of just feeling like, why is nobody watching my videos? Why do they suck so bad? But I know, like, nothing's perfect. Not every video is gonna do great, I know that. But, you know, I've been, I've been putting some work in, and it's always too, the videos that like I feel like do the worst are the ones I put the most work into and I know you guys don't want to hear me rant about this but it's the truth like it's what I'm dealing with at the moment and I don't know like my cats pick my makeup um I loved filming that I love my cats making the video and a lot of you guys really liked it um but you know when it comes to YouTube unless you have millions of subscribers your videos just don't show up a lot and I get it I know like whatever I'm trying to be positive today but I woke up with a little bit of energy and a little bit of a better outlook today even though I have been thinking like that and I wanted to get ready to film a video check out my nails um this polish is an older polish i think it's formula x but my nails have grown like crazy lately you can see how long they are and they're not breaking which is amazing my nails usually break off like crazy i'm not i'm not really liking the orange i don't know what do you guys think maybe it's just with the red background i'm not liking it but i don't really care for orange that much but i wanted to switch it up and i never wear orange anything so that's not true. I just did orange makeup. So yeah, testing out backdrops. This is a great way to see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. But let me know what you're thinking and what you're seeing. Um, I feel like it focuses a lot more on the face so that when I'm doing makeup, it'll look, I don't know, look a little bit more crisp. But that's the deal. I bought a lot of colors. I'm so sad though because 60% of the fabrics that I got are not good for back for backdrops. They're like not stretchy at all. Um, just like bad choices. But a lot of them do seem to work out really well. So I ordered a few more colors of the materials that I really liked. Um, it took forever to get them. It took like a month. Um, actually a little bit more than a month. So it was kind of frustrating. Obviously I understand, but I went ahead and ordered like four or five more colors so that I'll get them, you know, later on and I'll have some more coming in. Also, I would really, really appreciate any suggestions that you guys have for videos. It, it doesn't matter, like whatever you guys want to see, that's what I want to do. And if you have like a fun, creative idea that you haven't seen before, but you think would be good, let me know if, you know, if it's something brand new i'll give you guys credit i'll shout you out in the video whatever but i'm always looking for new things to do and i feel like i'm in a creative like slump i'm not feeling creative so maybe you guys can help me out with that me and sniffles are gonna hang out and i'm gonna film a video for you guys so i will talk to you in a little bit hi guys it is friday friday and i am kind of set up getting ready to film in a little bit i'm gonna take a shower um do something with my hair and then film with some new goodies I just got this package in. So this is the LA Splash collection for, calm down, the Hunger Games. And I saw so many negative comments about this, but I thought it looked pretty cool. And I love the Hunger Games, but this has come about because of the Hunger Games, the exhibition, which is a show that's being put on in Las Vegas. So a lot of people were like, oh my God, it's so late, blah, blah, blah. But there's also another book coming out, I heard. So that's really exciting. I happen to love the Hunger Games, so, I don't know, I just, I love the aesthetic of it. Like, this for the capital is so, like, spot on, I thought. So, I love that this one's named Finnick. Um, they have so many, like, connections. Like, this is Senna, the gold liner. He always wore gold liner. I kind of bought this on a whim. It was kind of expensive to get everything, but I don't know. I thought I would like it, but I just did some swatches, and I don't know. I feel like I'll like more of it than I'll dislike of it, but I haven't put anything on yet, so I'm gonna save my judgment for later. But it is so comical that my first clip of this vlog was like oh my god um i'm sad because my youtube isn't doing well 
the next day I put up a video and it did even worse um and today I'm just choosing to laugh about it I don't know I know not like everybody's gonna like every you know piece of content that I put out of course it makes sense um but I feel like YouTube just does a horrible horrible job of promoting small channels um I think that's a big part of it I feel like the harder I work the harder it gets to you know make any headway and it's not all about the views but you know obviously you want to see your stuff do well it is what it is what are you going to do about it at this point so i'm just plugging ahead trying to stay positive and keep doing everything i got really excited um because i have my new backdrops i also finally purchased final cut pro so i can edit better that's a learning process it was very frustrating last night um, because it's like very intense like you can do so much with that but a lot of the things that I was hoping to do with my videos is like stuff you have to purchase like if I want to do like this cute little animation I have to purchase this pack it's a lot so yeah I'm working on that I'll get better <laughs> with that and it seems to be official as well that we are going back to work on the 18th to get ready to open up on the 22nd um, a lot of you guys are asking and you always have to be careful what you say about your job, your work, the company you work for because you can't speak for them and you know, whatever. But I think it's too soon to open a makeup store up. You can take all the measures that you want, but the more people that are drawn out, the more chance you have of everybody getting sick. And I understand some things opening up and you know, there's a need for businesses to make money, but is that the most important thing in the world? No, absolutely not. So I don't know, I think they're just playing kind of fast and loose with people's health and I don't like it. Um, I don't normally say like such adamant things about it, but I really don't like it. It's giving me a lot of anxiety. I already have a tendency to be an anxious kind of person, but right now I feel a very strong urge to just stay at home. Not only because it's the wiser, more cautious thing to do, but because I'm having anxiety about all of this. And a lot of people are excited to get back to it, but I just find it kind of coincidental that every business is gotta open up by May 25th. They all wanna be open for Memorial Day for sales and to make money. I need to stop ranting because they'll probably like, mm, take that video down, she deserves no views anymore. Not that I'm getting very many at all, but you get what I'm saying. I'm not ready, I'm not prepared. A lot of people will disagree and that's fine. I don't know, I just feel like when it boils down to it, makeup is fun but it's frivolous and it's not a necessity and a makeup store should be the last type of store to open up. People just touch everything in there. People, if you worked in a makeup store, you would be disgusted by the things that people do. And you know, you can think that everybody's being cautious now, but not everyone will be. And not everyone knows how to be as cautious as they need to be. You know what I'm saying? When you see people pick up a tester lipstick and put it directly on their mouth without cleaning it, you just, you just don't trust that people are going to be cautious about it. I need to shut up. I need to go film. And I'm also premiering a video at 7. So I hope that if you guys watched, you were chatting with me. The last time I did a chat, several people in the chat said, please do this again. And I have fun too because I get to talk to you guys like in the moment, even though it's just via chat. But that's my little rant. I'm going to shut up about it all. Like, I need to shut up about work. I need to shut up about YouTube. And I need to shut up about the virus. We're just going to leave it at that. Okay. Hey guys, it is... Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day if you're a mom. I look a little shiny, but I tried something different with my makeup and I didn't really set with a lot of powder. I have on the Hourglass Vanish foundation, the liquid, not the stick. And I think it's probably my new favorite foundation. My eyes are watering, so I have like this giant gap right here, but I think it looks really pretty even with a little bit of shine. And I did my makeup super early. What time was I getting ready? 7.30? Yep. Yes, did my makeup about 7.30 and it's 6.50 at night and my makeup still looks pretty damn good. So I'm excited, I like my makeup today. Yeah, so we went and saw my parents and saw some other family and now we're heading home. Um, need something to drink soon. Do we need gas? Yeah, we're at a quarter of a tank so we can stop up at, uh, we can leave stop Flying here. Flying We can stop at the That's fine. So yeah, we're on the way home. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of editing in the car. Um, in the car. In the car. Not in the car, but in the car. Yes, 
No? Okay, so I hope you guys are doing amazing and I will talk to you later. Hey guys, so it is Monday. Oh, I have something on my screen. So I am awake. So let me just tell you guys the weird situation. I think I mentioned too that I only slept a couple hours so that I could wake up early and actually like go to bed at a reasonable time because my schedule is going to be getting back to normal soon so i wound up going to bed about 12 30. i slept for 11 hours i mean i'm sure my body needed sleep but now i'm like wow i woke up at 11 30. <laughs> that's not even good i'm just still screwed i'm looking at these little cuties thinking i need to eat some but right now i'm gonna have some liquid iv i feel dehydrated even though i've been like chugging water I picked this up at the gas station on the way home and i've already refilled it once um, but man, I'm like, I don't know. I'm feeling weird. My lips are so dry that my top lip looks like I've had a freaking lip injection because it's like swollen. So yeah, I'm going to have some of my lemon lime liquid IV and I need to get some stuff done. I want to show you guys a couple things that I've gotten. I got a couple of things from the container store. I also just placed an order for the BoxyCharm pop-up and I'm really excited. Um, I got two Viseart palettes and I also got a Skin Ink, one of the facial lights that has like all the options. Those are normally almost $300 and I got it for $79. I'm really excited. And then one more thing. Oh, it's like a desktop planner. It was really cute. I spent a little bit, but honestly, I feel like I got a lot for my money. Those Viseart palettes are usually like 80 bucks and they were 19 a piece great deals i have to avoid looking at that though because there's so much good stuff on there they need to just sell out of everything so i'm not tempted to go get anything you know what i'm saying so the fabrics that i bought um obviously i couldn't see them in person these are the kinds that i've been using they're like a stretchy um hey no ma'am what what are you doing bad bad kitties so these are like a stretchy jersey kind of material um these work great the other materials that i got though are a little bit different than i expected and granted like i haven't used this kind before um this has absolutely no stretch whatsoever and maybe i just looked at it wrong but all the really pretty colors that i was excited to use they're really not good for backdrops so i don't know i need to figure out something i can do with these so that they're not like a complete waste but i'm kind of sad because it was like half my order and then i also got these a while back from amazon i don't know if i showed you guys but they're little hangers that i'm using to hang my backdrops so i have more in my closet i need to hang this one pink one up and then these two containers came from the container store i think these were just like cheap because they weren't the main things that i picked up and i didn't spend all that much so this one's like a little acrylic it has two sections and these just come off like this they showed like q-tips and cotton balls but i don't know what i'm going to use it for yet it's really cute though and then this one also is a covered little box so what you have in here would be protected from like dust and stuff um so i'm not sure what i'm going to put in these but i just thought they were really pretty acrylic so this is the little cart i posted a picture on instagram and look how much crap i've already put in here like this is just like i need to put it away but this is this little cart i didn't put the wheels on it because honestly i think it looks cuter like this so it just sits on the floor it's pretty lightweight so i can just pick it up and move it i've gotten back to a little bit of a mess it's not that bad so i just need to put some products away all those brushes have been used so i need to do a little spritz and wipe down of those this is recycling i'm gonna save this foam just for like padding when we move stuff speaking of we've been planning to move you know in the future not like an immediate plan but we have been planning hey baby do you want to be on the camera hello how pretty miss ellie she i don't know what happened to her but she's got a little sore on the bottom of her tail um not like right at her butt but a little ways up and i don't know what happened if they were playing and got a little bit too overzealous it looks a lot better but it was like nasty scabby for a minute so we were concerned i was like ready to take her to the vet but anyway we've been talking about getting out of this house and moving elsewhere possibly closer to my parents zach drives a long way for work um like an hour so we were thinking about getting him closer and kind of floating the idea of me being able to do content creation full-time but at this point it would be like a major 
pay decrease obviously um, because I'm not a huge youtuber or anything like that so I don't get like a ton of big brand deals and I don't get huge paychecks from YouTube or anything so we were kind of waiting for things to align and make sense and even just like considering that but also I did find out I, I talked to you guys you know relatively recently that I have a family member who has cancer and um, despite a lot of treatments despite a lot of things that have been done um, it, it appears that we need to value the time that we have left. So it would be wonderful if I could be really close. We were considering a place that is only about 10 minutes away from my parents. Um, it is taking myself away from a lot of like, you know, shopping, food, entertainment, all that stuff. But it's not that big of a deal. Like you can always drive there. Um, but... I just don't know if it's the right financial move. So we're we're talking about it. It's an unlikely scenario, but it was something we could like hope for. Um, I am looking at possibly ways that I could make more money on YouTube and you know possibly Instagram. But I'm I don't know. I don't have a big enough following really to do a lot of the things that I would want to do that would allow me to be closer to home. I may look into, which I've looked at it before through Patreon, but I never pulled the trigger because I felt like, I don't know, this is kind of stupid. I don't know why I would do this. But they have ways that, you know, um, fans, subscribers, um, supporters can support you like with, with a subscription, basically, and you get things out of it. So basically, if, if I were to do something like that, which I'm not sure that I feel I mean, in a way, it's really nice, but in a way, I'm like, do I sound like I'm trying to be somebody I'm, like, I'm trying to be more than what I am? I don't know. Um, but essentially, like, if you paid $1 a month, you would get X, Y. If you paid $1... Really, bro? Bull in a china shop. Hey, buddy. What is he doing? Oh, dear. I cannot. So if you supported with $1 a month, you would get this. If you supported with $5 a month, you would get this. Up until however high you want to go. And it would be like tears and these would be your things that you would get. Let me know if you have any feelings about what would be good things. Let me know. Like my initial thought was like, okay, if you get, um, if you subscribe with $1 a month, you get to, um, vote on videos or something like that if it's five dollars a month you get to vote on the videos and you get um like a special video once a month that is just for you guys or you know something along those lines ten dollars a month you get a little postcard from me and the other two things i don't know if any of that is even desirable at all i would totally understand if it's not but if anything comes to you that like yeah i would be willing to support you with this amount for this let me know does that make sense i do not want to be the person who is like you can get me you can get a you can get a personalized letter from me i don't feel like I don't feel like I'm that person. Okay. Wow, I've been talking for 11 minutes, so I need to stop. But if you have any ideas of things that would be interesting enough, let me know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel weird. I feel like I slept too long, but I'm also rested, but I'm also like tired. That makes no freaking sense. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go and I'll talk to you later. You see any lizards? <laughs> My boy. Yeah, rub the tripod. Rub it, rub it. Yeah, rub it, rub it. Yeah. Okay. Bye, buddy. Hi, well, guys. It is now Thursday. The past few days are so annoying. I've had like four, maybe that's exaggerating, three or four like video calls every day. I won't go into any detail whatsoever. I think the people who put together Zoom calls, and I mean this like everybody overall, because I hear the same thing, think that they're like more interesting and helpful than they really are. <laughs> when it's really a lot of like, okay, and what did you think? And then tell me your thoughts. And I'm like, okay, can you just give me the pertinent information? Like I can retain that. Having like a drawing conversation about what everybody thinks, I'm like, oh my 
So anyway, needing to clean this room up, I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with. Room is again, once it again, a disaster. I think I'm going to do what some of you guys suggested and take all my Ipsy products for the month and like use them in a video. But this little cart, literally, I think I showed you guys this already, but I just got this and I like covered it with products. All the skincare that I've been using, like I need to sort through some of this. A couple things are brand new and I need to store, but then like some of it, I have like all open products. So I need to reorganize it a little bit better. This little caddy was what I was going to use to like transport back and forth when I'm like doing my skincare in here. But I have been switching it up somewhat just to like show the different products in the video, but also just because I like to switch my skincare up. Um, I also need to pick out my trash. I have some stuff I need to get out for recycling, things like that. Like I always just recycle all the boxes, so I always toss them in here. I usually like flatten them out. I took a picture last night. I don't really, I didn't really love the picture, honestly, when it was all said and done. So I may take a different one. So I need to get this cleaned up. Hello, Sally. Hi, baby. Okay. Okay. Also, this is a mess. And I've been using all, I've been laying down all the brushes that I've been using so I know which ones to clean more easily. And that's like a whole thing. So I need to get busy. I need to get some stuff done. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so this is the state of my beauty room. And I have about 20 minutes before I have to get on a Zoom call. So I'm going to do a little bit of straightening up with you guys. Also, this is some stuff I got from the container store. And I was really shopping their like clearance section. The thing that I actually went on there for is these. I got six of them. I saw I Love Sarah E talk about these on her Instagram stories. And she uses them for brushes. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for. But I also thought these baskets were really cool. So I can put these in my closet and use them for like I can put all the products for a video in there or you know things that I'm uh, give away give to friends donations whatever it may be and then I wiped everything down with the Novus um, so everything is like you know anti-static and it's dust repellent too I think I have this linked uh, ooh, I think I have this linked on my Amazon list I'll have to double check and make sure but it's really good for cleaning acrylic and plastic so this is the way everything's looking and I just need to do some straightening up So I'm going to pull out all my Ipsy products and put them on the last little row of this organizer thing I just got. I already don't remember what I got in my other one. That one for sure. Was that in my Ipsy? I think it was. I'm going to have to look back. I have such a horrible memory. It's about time for my Zoom call and I will talk to you guys after. Hi guys, it is Saturday and I am getting ready to do some filming. So I'm just sorting things out. I still need to clean my brushes. But I want to show you guys, I got a package in the mail of that I ordered. And then I also got a package from Sand and Sky. And I'm going to do a video about their new product. I could not wait. I had to get this one. I mean, I love my Norvina palette that I have. I have the big volume three, the orange one. And then I also have the minis of one and two. I think that's right. I think it's one and two. But I really would love to have all of the big ones. I just haven't purchased the purple or the blue. But I feel like, honestly, these could take the place of like a ton of Morphe palettes that I have that I honestly just don't care about. And I feel like the quality isn't there anymore. But anyway, this looks beautiful. I'm going to have to open it up. And I also got this liner. I wanted both colors. The other one sold out. And wouldn't you know, it was available the next day. So I'll get the other one as well. But I want to show you guys this really quick. Alright, here's the packaging. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then the colors are right up my alley. You guys know I love to play with pink. It has a little bit of purple. I especially love this type of purple. It's really light. These glitters are gorgeous. And I love this like random pop of yellow. I've seen that a couple people got this shade broken, but mine was okay. It's just like a softer, packed in there kind of shimmer. The new liners, you can see, these are water activated. Kind of like the Suva Beauty ones, if you've seen those, they're very similar. And then these are the two products I was sent by Sand and Sky. You've got the Enzyme Powder Polish 
and the Dreamy Glow Drops. I actually thought they were going to send me the mask as well, which I really wanted to try. It looks like really bouncy. It's a, it's a different consistency, it seems, but I'm interested to try this out. This one's brand new, and this one's been out for a little while. I've still got a lot to clean up. I need to clean my brushes. This table I just kind of use to set stuff when I'm filming. It's just really convenient, and then I've still got organizing to do, which I may do a lot of that tomorrow because today I want to do a good bit of filming. That's what I'm going to get to work on. Close these up. Can I do it? Can I do it? Ooh, one hand. That's that, and I will talk to you guys later. So, I have worked for two days. By the time this vlog goes up, you guys will probably hear that some stores are opening. Um, I wasn't going to, like, share that beforehand just in case. I think I'm going to shower. I feel gross. I actually wanted to wash this off before I went to work, but I just ran out of time because I filmed a video unboxing my Huda mystery bag, and there's a giveaway in that video, so if you haven't seen it, I will link it. I think I have, like, hives. I didn't know what, like, these little red bumps were on my arms before, but I got them again, and I think it's stress-related, but... I just started getting them popping up all over. The psoriasis in my eyes getting better, thank goodness. But my body is like revolting. It does not like everything that's okay, going So my on. vlogging has gotten way, way out of hand. It is Wednesday the 27th and I actually was planning to get up early before work and actually film like a makeup video. But I think I'm just gonna postpone that until tomorrow. I was feeling so tired that I literally like reset my alarm for like 45 minutes later. So I'm making some coffee, which you can probably hear, but I wanted to give you guys a couple updates. Um, I did go look at some houses on Monday. We found one that we really, really liked, so we're gonna check it out a little bit further and decide. That puts us moving, which is very, very likely at this point. At the end of July, I'm really excited. The one place that I really liked is beautiful on the inside. So that's going on, and today is also my first day going back to keto. We've been just putting it off because, you know, we were going for Memorial Day. Before that, we were like trying to use all our, you know, regular non-keto groceries and stuff like that. We've still got a few things like popcorn and oatmeal and stuff like that, but I'm just like, at this point, I'm ready to be on keto, so we can either put it away, I can take it to work and people can have it, whatever. I'm at a point where I'm like so ready to be back on keto because I'm feeling fluffy and I'm ready for my stomach to feel a little bit flatter and keto really helps that helps me with that. So I'm gonna have some coffee. I do wanna show you guys a really cute package as well. So I got this from Benefit. I'm so excited for this package. So this is the Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation and they did send me a little a color assortment. Um, I'm probably these two shades right here, but I do, like I said, wanna do some self tanning. So I might be able to use these. I don't know if I'll be able to go up to four, but um, I'm definitely gonna check out really soon and try it if you guys would like a review of this let me know I think it is available right now but it would be kind of cool to test it out I haven't done a foundation review in a little while and I'm thinking like wear tests and all that more than just like a first impression so we got the shrimply amazing cup I've got heavy cream I've already used boss babe mocha and then I think I'm gonna crack open this MCT and start with a little MCT oil as well. So I'm having coffee. Talk to you guys in a second. All right, so I am now just having my coffee. This lighting is horrible. It's okay. I hope you guys are doing amazing and have been getting through all of this okay. I am super, super excited to, one, be back on keto. <laughs> I'm really excited to start maybe planning, decorating a new place. In the two years that we've been here, I've never really decorated this place. Like, I've gotten, you know, my beauty room set up um, kind of the way that I want it. I've gotten chairs for that. But I've never really, like, bought all the stuff to go together, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not, I'm not very very good at decorating so if you guys have any suggestions of where to get like really nice um rugs but like aren't insanely expensive because this place has wooden floors but i do want some like rugs just to you know give the cats like spaces of soft floor and i don't know i love the way that rugs look on hardwood i want maybe like cream colored ones, maybe ones that have a little pop of color, but I want some rugs. I'm just, every time I look at ones that I like, they're so expensive. If you guys have suggestions for what kind of couch with gray walls, white trim, white molding, and the wooden floors are like kind of grayish too, like grayish wooden, and like what color couch would you put? Because would you do tan or I don't know, like, I don't know. <laughs> 
help. Um, so if you guys have suggestions of where to get things, definitely let me know. I did wait for it for a couch because it wasn't too crazy expensive, but I do feel like this one has not held up that well. Yeah, I don't want to get something cheap that's going to break down super fast, but I also don't want to spend like $4,000 on a couch. So I'm, I'm very torn as to what to do. So I will take you guys' suggestions, please. <laughs> Leave me some comments below. Let me know how you've been doing. I've been sort of MIA for a few days. I uploaded like one video. So that's that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this vlog, like bless your heart. It was probably all over the place. Mr. Minners. This fucking lighting. Hey buddy, come here. Minners is like right beside my camera. Okay. He just smelled everything and walked away. So thank you guys again for watching and I will talk to you in my next video.